in Saudi Arabia amid backlash over the murder of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi by Saudi government operatives. Defense Secretary James Mattis says the U.S. must balance human rights concerns with the need for key strategic relationships around the world. Quoting here, presidents don't always get the freedom to work with unblemished partners in all things. For example, what's going on in Yemen? If you want to end the war, you're going to deal with Saudis. You can't say, I'm not going to deal with them. Now Gardner is director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom. Now, thanks for being with us today. It's uh, my pleasure, Rick, and happy Thanksgiving. It's uh, uh, very grateful to be living in the, uh, the greatest country on, on earth, actually, so a lot I, to be thankful for. I would have to echo those sentiments as well. Uh, your reaction to what James Mattis said and what the president has done on this issue? Uh, yes, I think that I firstly, uh, you know, has to acknowledge that uh, the the brutal killing of Jamal Khashoggi was uh, a great tragedy, uh, and there has to be a strong uh, U.S. response uh, to this. Uh, and I think that the United States, I think, is weighing up the the big picture here. Uh, and as General Mattis pointed out, uh, that there is an important strategic relationship between the United States and Saudi Arabia that has to be. Uh, maintained. Yeah. Uh, and so the U.S. certainly has already acted in terms of sanctioning 17 uh, Saudi uh, individuals. Further sanctions may be uh, implemented. Congress is certainly ratcheting up the pressure here as well. But at the same time, uh, Saudi Arabia is an important U.S. strategic partner. And it's vital, I think, to maintain that alliance with uh, Saudi Arabia and also the Gulf states in terms of confronting uh, the Iranian threat, fighting against uh, ISIS. Uh, and also ensuring that uh, you know the Chinese, uh, the Russians, for example, do not take advantage of a potential split between uh, the United States and Saudi Arabia. Right. The, so the administration, work, the administration, uh, working with its partners in that region, Saudi is obviously a big key, and they're walking a tightrope. Uh, absolutely. I think this is one of the most complex uh, foreign policy uh, scenarios the United States has faced uh, for uh, for some time, and the reality is that sometimes uh, U.S. Uh, partners. Uh, do not have a perfect uh, human rights record. And to say for example, the least. If, you, if you look at the case of Turkey, an important uh, U.S. partner in the NATO alliance, uh, Turkey, for example, has an appalling record in terms of uh, jailing hundreds of uh, journalists. They've uh, detained over 140,000 people since the 2016 uh, coup attempt. Yet the United States still uh, works with uh, Turkey on the international stage. I expect yeah. that the U.S. will continue to work with Saudi Arabia while voicing, of course, a uh, very strong condemnation of what is a very brutal uh, murder here. And well, there has I, to be, I think, a strong U.S. response to that. The question is, was the response strong enough?